Hello, thank you for joining me. What I'd like to show you in this video is uh, putting in a site plan to kind of complement our house model that we've built so far. What we have is our basement floor, basement walls, our first floor, and our first floor walls. And what we like to do is put in our site plan in order to accommodate that. Now that we kind of have a split level house where the garage is going to be in the front of the house and doors are going to be on the first floor of the house, um, it's going to be uh, kind of sloping from the back to the front of the house. So let's do this. Let's go to our first floor. I'll take a look at what uh, what our design intent here is. In the basement, we're going to have a garage down here, or maybe a door on the right-hand side. In the first floor, we're going to have a first floor entry into the house on the right-hand side. It may be a back door in the back of the house if we can accommodate it because it's a skinny house, but probably on the left or right side of that. So if you think about it, the first floor is at a zero elevation, so we're going to put a zero elevation roughly in the back of the house, and somewhere in the middle of the house, we're going to begin to make it slope down until it's about 11 feet below uh, elevation here in the front of the house. So that might be typical, some houses might be built in a Seattle area where you do have some sloping ground from the front to the back. So let's do this. Let's go to the back of the house and uh, let's start putting some points on the top of the surface. The way you find that is you go to the massing and site tab on your ribbon, go to top of the surface, So it says here in your current active view, topographic elements are not visible. So what it's saying is we're not really in a site plan. So let's escape out of this a few times and actually go to the site plan. And go back to modify edit surface. Let's go to place point on our ribbon. And what we want to do is maybe put uh, some points that are maybe five feet tall on the back. So we're going to have a little bit of a hill in the back, slope into the back door of the house. And to try to simulate maybe a little bit of excavation that may have happened. We're going to round that a little bit. So the second set of points we're going to draw is going to be a zero elevation. So what it's going to do with this line of the zero elevation points is going to begin to connect topo lines that are going to connect that together. I'm going to do something a little bit different with these zero points is I'm going to actually go in a circle on those. So I'm going to get create kind of a pad where we're going to have zero elevation out here and that's going to help accommodate our first floor when we get there. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're putting a site plan together, if you already have your house built, is you want to hide all the elements associated with that house that are going to interfere with the drawing out of your plan, especially if you're going to do a building pad, which we're going to do in the next video. So, one thing you might want to hide would be your roof. So, let's continue on. Let's do a minus 5, and another set of points in front of that. And the next one, let's do a minus 11. And we'll do that in the very front of the house. Now we could take these points and adjust them. We can move these around and uh, adjust the topography. It's going to be a little bit difficult here in the middle. And the way you do that is you try to select these elements back here and you hide them as you're going through. And I will demonstrate that here in a bit. But these points that are visible that aren't embedded into the house, we can go ahead and select those and move those. What I like to do with these uh, 11 foot points is probably put them close to the house. Because we know the garage is going to come out there. We want it right at the base of the, of the, of the basement. There we go. Kind of hard to select sometimes. So along with our, uh, we're going to put in one more set of points. We're going to still keep it 11. We're going to kind of create a pad out here in the front like we did with zero elevation. We're going to create a pad out here for our 11 foot minus elevation. Escape a couple times. Let's move some of these points around. And you can select the point. If you have to, scroll in a little bit closer to them. And as soon as you get the move symbol on it, should be ready to go. So let's take a look at that. Let's go to our 3D view and take a look at that. I don't think we have a 3D view created, so let's go ahead and do that. Go to view. Oop. Let's make sure that we have our topo surface done. So our choice here, because that uh, tab was highlighted in green, is to go to the green check mark or the red X. Let's do the green check mark and call that done. Okay. Let's go to view, 3D view, and there we have it. So we're going to have a garage in front, front door here on the first floor here, back door in the back, or maybe in the sides. So that's kind of what our topo surface looks like. And to uh, emphasize that a little bit if you go to the realistic view, Right now the surface on it is uh, a little bit different. We're going to go to by category and maybe change that a little bit. So if you scroll down to site, there's a couple different site options we could use. Maybe grass would be a good one. Grass is better than dirt. So it's a little bit greenish. So you can see it. 
And here's one of the conflicts, and we're going to solve this with our next video, is that we're seeing a little bit of the site plan pop through in our house. You have a flashing floor there. So you have a conflict. You have two solids trying to occupy the same space. Okay, join me soon.